Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Janine Kripner, volcanologist, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Erica Anderson. I'm the curator of mineralogy at the Canadian Museum of Nature. And okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I say I'm lucky enough to work with a lot of nice and beautiful sparkly minerals. Which is what we all need in our lives right now. So how many, do you have a lot of diamonds there? We have a fair amount. Uh, Canada is known for its diamonds because we are made of some uh, old rocks. So that's where a lot of the diamond deposits are um, because they come up in kimberlites, which are these sort of volcanic eruptions that come from really deep in the earth and they erupt uh, onto the surface. But as they're sort of coming up, they grab a lot of rocks on the way from really deep. And that's where diamonds come from, about that 150 cool. kilometers deep. 150 kilometers deep. So I've seen a lot of things out there where people will say, you know, old dinosaurs turn into diamonds, but that is definitely not the case. 150 kilometers deep below the surface is what we're talking. Oh so yeah, and they're way older than dinosaurs. They're right. like dinosaurs. usually, I think, roughly a billion to three billion years old. So I think dinosaurs are what, 100 million, 150 million? Pretty young. Yeah. Diamonds. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. So if you have a diamond ring on your finger, you have something that is older than dinosaurs and came rushing to the surface in a violent volcanic eruption ripped from 150 kilometers below the surface. Yes. That is one of the reasons why I wanted a diamond on my engagement ring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This is really fascinating. Thank you for joining me for this volcano moment. All right, you're welcome.